Hi everyone. How are you today? Let me just try to set up everything here. Right, I got the arrows. All right. <clears throat> I have a little notepad here so that I can type whatever information that's necessary here. I thought it might it might be better to put some words here during the live. And I hope you can see the word here. It says Kumo. Um, I cannot make the letter bigger than this, so I have to find the other tool to actually make it bigger on this letter. But if you can, if you're, I think if you're on the PC, you can read the letter here, right? But I think if you're on the mobile. Uh, maybe this letter is too small. So anyways. Alright. Hi Muhammad. Thanks for joining. Hi Fred. Hello. Thank you for joining. Wasan, thank you for joining. As always. Uh, you are hyper and active today. <laughs> yep, yep. Actually this year, from this year and now on, and I'm thinking to do uh, live streaming twice a day, twice a day, per day. So, uh, and I will be mainly talking about uh, the Kumo in this month and also the February. But yeah, the idea is to actually, uh, you know, do lives as, as much as possible to uh, actually tell you how I actually analyze charts by Ichimoku Kin Kohyo because I think this is the fast, fa fastest way to deliver the information. First, I can edit the video and also, you know, uh, create it and, um, you know, upload it to you guys to watch it. And I will do it. Uh, I will keep doing it. But live streamings, you know, it's live. And uh, by communicating like this way uh, through the chat and also through the information on on the chart, um, I think it, it might be better to deliver the information like real time. And that's why. I will be doing this uh, live streaming twice a day on in uh, you know January, February, March <clears throat> at least twice a day. And within the day, maybe one time will be like ichimoku and one time can be like mental part or money management. I will divide the th the theme on each streamings, but anyways, I will be doing twice um, you know in the day. For this live, so you can always stay tuned for that <clears throat> this year, so that you can be a master of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, right? Who wants to be a master of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo? Who want to make money with Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, right? And I think I am, I think I'm the only one, right, who is actually doing the Ichimoku lives, and I, especially in Japan, from Japan in English, I think I am the only one. So I'm such a, I'm so. I, I'm so privileged to do the live streamings and connect you guys like this through the internet and share and expose all the information that's necessary. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's the idea anyways. Okay, okay. <clears throat> all right, yeah, I'm not Kerry. I'm K. <laughs> Just to remind you that my letter, my my name is like a K, right? Like a letter K. It's not Kai. It's not Ki, right? My pronunciation of the name is K, right? Because my real name is Keita. And I thought it's it might be easier for you to pronounce just K, and that's why I put the name K. So, anyways, yeah. Hi Duck, thanks for joining. Hi Mark, thank you for joining. Hi Aditya. My first video with you. Great, great. Thanks for joining. Welcome, welcome. Sui, thanks for joining. Kavin, hello. Welcome. Raymond, thanks for joining. All right. So, 
Okay, um, so on this live streaming, I will be mainly focusing on Kumo again, right? Kumo. Because it's, I think it's one of the myths to you guys to actually how to use it and how to actually trade with Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And I think the beauty about the Kumo is that it, once you master it, you can actually combine with any other indicators. It's so flexible in terms of the combination of two other indicators. And also, Kumo by itself actually gives you lots of information about the market. Uh, when to take trades, when not to take trades, which time frame to uh, actually focus on. And also the possible reverse point of the, of the market. And yeah, lots of things, lots of things. <clears throat> so that's why I am mainly talking about Kumo first. I will be talking about Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Chikou Span and also three theories of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. But in January, I think I have to explain about Kumo first because this is apparently looks like, you know, that this, this Kumo is actually the one that most of the traders are interested in. And actually, this is so flexible in terms of the combinations with other indicators. And that's why. I will. I decided to start talk about this Kumo first. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. So, um, yeah, um, I am looking at the Euro Pound E U R G B P. Right, Euro Pound, and this is monthly. I will start from the monthly chart. monthly chart and gradually I will lower the time frames to weekly daily one hour and I will ask you the questions about Kumo so you can reply to me right on the chat box so that you can really master the Kumo along the way so um, this is again euro pound monthly chart and if you look at the Kumo right now if you look at the Kumo as of now, in monthly chart, is it moving up or down or horizontal? Up, down or horizontal? Which one is it? Please participate, everyone, on the chat box so that you can fully actually input the information. The more you participate, the more you can input the information uh, rather than just looking at the video. So uh, right now, the monthly chart of Euro Pound, you can actually take a look at your own chart and you, you can display the Kumo. And is the Kumo right now moving up, down or horizontal? Which one is it? All right, I see one Ohio. <laughs> Is it Ohio over there? It's Konbanwa here in Japan. Okay, range, horizontal, range, range, horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Yep, exactly. Monthly chart, this is horizontal, right? This is horizontal. <clears throat> exactly. All right, so in this case, what would you do? Would you buy, sell, or hold it? What would you do? Would you buy in this market or would you sell in this market or would you just wait? Weekly chart, daily, four hour, one hour, 30 minute, 15 minute. Five minute and one minute. All right, I will go all over these time frames today in this video, so that actually you can fully grasp which uh, which time frame to take trades. So, anyways, right now monthly is horizontal, as you can see, the kumo is in parallel. So, in this case, would you buy, sell, or hold it? Okay, okay. Wait, wait, nothing, hold, wait, 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 buy, bay. <laughs> okay, well, actually, in this case, in this case, you have to wait. 
you have to wait. And what you wait is you wait for the kumo to be moving either up or down. Right? But in this case, in this case, the market is horizontal, right? It's moving horizontal. That means market is consolidating. And this is not really a good trade chance. All right. <clears throat> this is not really in a good trade chance. Because this is a little advanced information, but um, for, for some of you, this, is, this might be a little advanced. But when you think about the Kumo, uh, the lower part, right? When the Kumo is up Kumo, uh, this dark gray is actually up Kumo, and this light gray is down Kumo, right here. But when you look at this up Kumo, and when you only focus on this lower part of the Kumo here, what this line actually tells you is that it's actually the half point, right? Mid price of the highest and the lowest for the past 50 days, 52 days, sorry. For the past 52 days or 52 candles, this is a lower, uh, this is in the mid price, in the middle price. So the lower part of the Kumo, uh, lower part of the up Kumo is actually telling, telling you that this is actually the mid price of the high and low for the past 52 candlesticks. Right? So when you measure the 52 candles from here, 52 candles will be up to this day, right here, uh, this month right here, right? 52 bars. So I just mark it here. So up until this month. Oh, sorry. All right. So up until this month, between the low and high, right? The highest, you, if you take the highest and the lowest, the mid price is actually on this level, see? So in this case, in this case, uh, this this is actually single span two or single span B, however you call it. Uh, the lower part of the kumo is actually showing you the mid price of the range, mid price of the range when kumo is in parallel. When kumo is in parallel, this lower part of the kumo is actually showing you the mid price of the range. And similarly, the, uh, the down Kumo, when you look at the down Kumo, this upper part of the Kumo is the single span 2, and it shows the mid price of the range for the past 20, uh, 52 candlesticks. Right? And what I wanted to tell you is that when the Kumo is horizontal, first of all, this is not a trade chance. And that's because, that's because, this is what I, what I wanted to tell you. That's because based on this uh, single span 2, the market can either go up or go down. We never know. This is the mid price of the whole momentum right now on the market. And so that means the price even if the price is coming back down it might be supported here and go up or it might break this um single span too and the price might go down that's something that we never know that means the kumo is not really working in this case and that's why you have to see it off you don't have to take trades on this particular case all right so anyways just remember that when the Kumo is horizontal, it's not a trade chance. You have to look at either other pairs or other time frames. Okay, so the monthly chart is horizontal, so no trade, right? So let's move on to the weekly chart here. Is everybody with me so far? Let's move on to the weekly.
All right, now we're looking at the weekly chart here. And in this weekly chart, and if you only look at the Kumo, if you only look at the Kumo, is it moving up or down or horizontal? Again, up, down, or horizontal? Which one is it, do you think? Please participate. If you look at the Kumo right now, like this, right? I'm giving you a big, big hint here. <laughs> All right. When you look at the Kumo, the formation right now, is it moving up or down or horizontal? So basically, when you look at the chart, uh, you have to be able to recognize which one to take trade or which one not to take trade. And if you decide the one to take trade, you have to know which direction right, to take trade. And actually, that's what Kumo is uh, telling you, telling you, actually. So, is the Kumo moving up, down, or horizontal? Which one is it? Okay, horizontal, horizontal, range, range, horizontal, down, horizontal, horizontal, range, horizontal, horizontal. Yep, this is horizontal actually. This is horizontal, right? It's in parallel, right? What I mean by going up is like this. And what I mean by going down is actually like this. But right now, clearly, it's in a range, right? It's in a range. And again, uh, I've done this before, but again, the Kumo is actually 26 candles moved ahead, right? 26 candles moved ahead. So the Kumo is in parallel right now, but actually you were looking at the candles, 26 candles before, to actually match with the current price. So if you go back 26 candles before, it's going to be on this bar right here. On this bar right so I mark it here and if you move back 26 candles before it's gonna be like this right it's gonna be like this so I just slide it 26 candles before uh, this square uh, from from the from the time when the Kumo started to be parallel right if I kind of slide it to 26 candles before it's gonna look like this and this is exactly what are you looking at the market right and similarly similarly um, if you kind of draw the box like this you can actually do this by your own but if you draw a box like this when the kumo is moving up right okay so you might think okay the kumo is moving up so let's buy maybe you think it's a buy here sometimes here or maybe you think it's a buy somewhere like here, whatever, wherever. You may think it's a buy here. Because Kumo is moving up, it's a buy, right? Maybe you might think like that. But actually, it's not the case because the, the trick is the Kumo is actually 26 candles moving forward. And this is what the Kumo is really significant. But in this case, that might confuse people. So actually, when the Kumo is moving up, what you have to look at is not the candlestick right here in this uh, market, but actually you have to go back 26 candles before, right? So that means you were looking at this market right here, this market, right? So in this case, you only look for a place to buy, right? You only look for a place to buy. Okay, okay. So that's like a little trick here. So anyways, the Kumo is moving horizontal. So weekly chart, it's horizontal, right? So that means the Kumo is not really working in this case. Okay, but it doesn't mean that we, don't, we cannot take trade, right? It doesn't mean that we cannot take trade. 
we can always go to the lower time frames and take trades or go to other pairs to take trades right but in this particular case uh euro pound weekly chart the kumo is horizontal so that's why uh this uh this time frame on this pair is not really the one that you can uh recognize to actually place either buy or sell because it's in a range clearly it's in a range okay so let's move on to the daily chart here how about the daily chart all right now you you know that it looks so different right so different from the weekly chart so if you look at this kumo angle right now is it moving up or down or horizontal Right now, is it moving up or down or horizontal in daily chart? It's not a trick question. <laughs> I'm not here to trick you. You can just simple, be simple, you know. You can just look at the Kumo with your simple eyes and tell me the answer so when you only look at the kumo's angle here i uh, just forget about all the other indicators or all other like price actions and everything waves and everything you, you just forget about it and only look at the kumo angle right now is it moving up or down or horizontal okay yeah it's going down it's going down right it's going down right now well slightly right now it's twisting right here to the upside so we have to watch out but overall it's moving down right it's moving down so in this momentum you only look for a place to sell right you only look for a place to sell in this case so how about the previous kumo here how about in the past right here in the past was it moving up or down or horizontal look at the kumo's angle right here is it moving up or down or horizontal in the past so for now i put the daily chart the kumo's angle is going down so in the past right here what was the momentum so this is sell Was it moving up or down or horizontal in the past? Now move your fingers and please participate so that you can really input yourself. <clears throat> okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You guys are so right. You guys are so right. So you can make money with that already. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So it was moving up, right? It was clearly moving up this way. So in this era, then in this era, that was a buy era, right? Buy era. But now the era has been changed from this twist of the Kumo here. The era has been changed to the sell, right? So you cannot buy anymore. You cannot buy anymore after this Kumo twist. Right, you have to look for that chance to sell in this market. Isn't it clear? It's so simple, right? Um, Kumo looks to be kind of complicated, but when you see it this way, it's so simple and visual. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, in, even in the past right here, if you look at it right here, it's going down, right? The Kumo was going down previously like here so it was a sell error in the past so you can really identify what to do depending on the market right depending on the market situation and actually that's the beauty about the kumo after the twist here after the twist right here the error has changed to the upside right and again this is 26 candles forwarded so you have to always go back 26 candles before 
to match with the current market. So if you go back 26 candles before, it's going to be right like a right here. So if I go back, it's going to be like this. This is exactly the market you were looking at. When you're actually looking at the Kumo, this is exactly the market you were looking at. So it's clear that in this momentum, it's a sell, right? No matter what, it's a sell. And in this momentum, no matter what, it's a buy, right? In this momentum, no, no matter what, it's a sell. Until the Kumo twisted here, right? Until Kumo twists here. All right. So that's one of the simplest way to identify whether the market is in a range or a trend by looking at the Kumo. So you can just play, play, play around with your own chart and show the Kumo only, right? Don't, don't show any other indicators but Kumo and you can kind of identify if the market is in a range or trend just by looking at the angles. And this is the simplest way to actually identify the market trend. Okay, so the monthly chart, it showed horizontal, so no trade, right? No trade. So that means this is not reliable. And weekly chart also, right? It's no trade, right? But daily chart, it's moving down. So that means it's a sell, right? It's a sell. So in this case, we only look for the place to sell, right? And we only look at the daily chart. You only look at the daily chart as, uh, as a reliable bigger time frame and you go down, right? You, you then you look at the lower time frames to to further confirm uh, where to take trades. The daily time frame only shows you the direction to take trade, right? But it doesn't really give you the confirmation where exactly to take trades. Okay, so let's move on to the 4-hour chart. Well, actually, you can look at any other time frames. Basically, I personally look at daily and 1-hour and 15-minute chart or 5-minute chart. But you can just you know combine with any other time frames whether you want. But my recommendation is if we're used to see like multiple time frames like this, um, at least you have to look at like uh, three time frames at least. Uh, bigger time frame, middle time frame, and smaller time frame. I recommend you to look at the three time frames in the market to actually really capture the market uh, momentum. Two will be okay, two will be okay, but uh, if you can go for like three time frames, then that will be further confirmed. And if you go for like four time frames or five time frames, that's like, um, you know, there is a possibility that you, you might find no trading chance in the market. So I think three would be ideal. And yeah, that's that's how I'm trading daily. I look at the three time frames and take trades. So yeah, three would be perfect. So anyways, let's go down to the four hour chart now and see what we can find. All right, this is a four hour chart. Okay, looks like it's a little tricky here, but let me take a vote. Let's take a vote. Um, do you think it's moving up or down or horizontal? Which one do you think? If you look at the Kumo in this 4 hour chart, is it moving up or down or horizontal? Let's go by step by step here, right? Let's just go step by step here. Don't rush into the market. And when you look at the real chart, like real time, because it's Saturday, it's not moving, but when you are looking at the live moving chart, uh, you have to do this all these, right? You have to do all these processes 
to actually make sure exactly which one to take trade. You never go into the market by looking at like 5 minute or like a 1 minute chart. So always start from the bigger time frames is the key to success in trading. And especially if you are using Kumo, that's the very uh, you know top priority to do. Always look at the bigger picture first and then break it down, right? Never go backwards. So in this case, is a Kumo moving up or down or horizontal? Let's take a vote here. <clears throat> All right. All right, now I see some variations here. Um, I see up, either up or horizontal. All right, range, up or range. Okay, I see more, more horizontal relatively than up. So, is it moving up or down or horizontal, right? So in this case, this is horizontal, right? This is horizontal. Technically, this is um, horizontal, you can say. Unless, unless, right? Unless you see the continuous bull kumo here. Until, uh, unless you see the bullish kumo, this is horizontal. Right, but because I uh, know this part right here, this part right here is a little bit moving horizontal. It's not really moving up clearly. Remember, what we are looking for is not like this one, but what we are looking for was like this, right? Like this in daily chart. This is so clear, right? This is so clear that it's moving down. But look at the four hour chart now, right? Look at it here this is not really moving up right clearly it's kind of in the parallel right now it was moving up in the past right here but now looks like it's like horizontal a little bit so in the past it was moving down this was slightly moving down the angle has changed right the angle this is like a slightly moving down and this is getting steep and now from this reverse point right here it changed the market to bullish and now it's in parallel so this is horizontal and that's why this is not the one to take trade right so I put horizontal here and I put no trade okay Uh, because technically, technically, if you look at the upper part of the Kumo here, it's moving horizontal too. See? It's moving horizontal. That means market is in a range right now. It just changed the Kumo from up to down Kumo right now. This uh, dark gray is up. Oops, sorry. This dark gray is up. Up Kumo right here. And this uh, light gray is down Kumo. So the market just shifted here, right? The market just shifted here. So there's a possibility that the market will start to go down from here. Like this, right? Down Kumo, right? The market might go down from here. We never know. What we know right now is that the market is horizontal, the Kumo is horizontal, and that means this is not the time frame that's reliable in this market. So, so far, daily chart only shows the clear um, bear Kumo, right? Uh, down Kumo. And that's the only time frame that we're looking at right now. So, I would only look at the daily chart so far. And I wouldn't look at monthly, weekly, or four hour chart to take trades. Okay, so let's now move on to the next one. Let's move on to the one hour chart. So in this one hour chart, 
All right. So what do we see here now? What do we see here? By looking at the Kumo only here, what do you see? Is it moving up or down or horizontal? I mean clear. I have to add clear the words, right? Is it clear uptrend or clear downtrend or horizontal? Which one is it? Yeah, don't worry. I am I'm reading your comments here. <laughs> so, right now the kumo is moving up or down or horizontal. All right, I see a few variations here too. Horizontal or up? Mostly yeah, mostly you put horizontal. Okay, okay, great, great. So it's horizontal. It's horizontal, right? It's not moving down or up. I mean, clearly, clearly. When you look at the angle of the Kumo right now, it's horizontal, right? It's horizontal. And yeah, Jeroen san, as Jeroen uh, mentions here, uh, the uh, the single span two right here is horizontal. And this is another confirmation that the market is in a range. Right. Whenever you see the single span 2 is horizontal like this in parallel, that means the market is in a range. And plus, if you look at the angle of the Kumo, this is not like clear uptrend, right? Like this. It's not like this, right? It's like in parallel, right? It's moving horizontal. And that means the market is in a range. Okay? The market is in a range. Because like I said earlier, this single span 2, the lower part of the Kumo, actually shows the midpoint, mid price level of the previous high and previous low of the past 52 candlesticks, right? This is the 50% level, 50% retracement level. If you take the, uh, the measurement, it's a 50% level. right like this see it's a 50% level so actually this this is um, actually telling you that the market is uh, actually not really moving up or down but it's in a range it's in a range and single span too when you think about it it's um, if I a little bit go deeper here um, this is the mid price of the past 52 candles, right? This is the mid price of the past 52 candles, right? And that means, that means here's a point. And here's a point why I think I, I say this is a range. And that means, unless, so uh, let me ask you the question here. This is a little bit advanced question, so maybe it's a little bit difficult to answer it, but when the single span 2 here is moving up like this right when the single span 2 moves up like this uh, what will be the condition on the market right right now it's horizontal right and that means it's a range i said but if the if the single span 2 here is moving up right what does that mean what does that mean? In other words, in other words, what makes the single span two move up? What makes the single span move up? Right? The hint is this is the highest, the mid price of the highest and the lowest of the past 52 candlesticks. I think it's here. Not sure. <laughs> so what makes the single span two? Uh, what makes a single span 2 
move up. So it was actually right here. What makes the single span 2 move up? And this is why the market is in the range. Right, exactly, exactly. Uh, new highs are being made, exactly. Pansan, you're right. And Aditya, you're right too. Exactly. Sumiyoshi Tsuda-san, yeah, exactly, you're right too. Right. If the price moves up, right? If the price moves up, it doesn't really make this single span too move upwards, right? It necessarily doesn't move up, right? Because unless, how do you say? Like, um, as far as, right, as far as the price is within this range, no matter how, how, what kind of movement, right, the market produces, no matter how, how, you know, like, no matter it's either going up or down within this range, as far as the price is within this range, right, as long as the price is within this range, this uh, single span 2 won't change because it's the highest and lowest of the past 52 candlesticks, right? So even if the price goes down from here and up and go down here and up and go down and up, go down and up, go down and up, right? Even if the market moves like this, the single span 2 remains the same level, right? It's going to be horizontal like this because if you take the highest and lowest here, it's still the same, still the same. You see? And this is actually the beauty of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. And this is why um, this Senko Span 2 or Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen is not the same as the moving average. This is why it's not the same as the moving average. And this is how, uh, how Ichimoku Kinko Hyo uh, defined the trend and range. So it's so different from other indicators. The way Ichimoku Kinko Hyo defines the trend and range is very unique, unlike other indicators. So, yeah, um, the single span 2 actually moves up. There are two answers, right? There are actually two answers. One answer would be if the lowest, right, if the lowest price moves up right like this if uh, the lowest the, if the lowest part renews after after a while that can be that can cause the single span 2 to move up so as time goes by if the market keeps, go keeps going down like this uh, keeps up like this right and in that case it will count this one as a lowest, right? So now later, this one as a lowest and this, this price level right here as a highest, right? And in this case, around this price level is going to be the mid price. And this is where the single span 2 is going to be located. So two answers will be single span will be moving upwards if the price, if the lowest price is going to be renewed, like keeps higher, or if the highest price is going to be higher. Either one of these. In this condition, the single span 2 will move up a little bit. So in other words, in other words, I think this is a little bit tricky here. So but bear with me here. So the single span 2 will move up even if the high won't renew. Even if the high won't renew, if the lower, pri lower price, the lowest price is going to be higher, even if the highest remains the same, if the low part, right, low price is going to be higher, the single span 2 will move up. You see? Is it clear? <laughs> so that's the idea of 
a, a trend in Ichimoku Kinkohyo. And in this case, the Kumo will move up too. Even if the price, right, even if the highest price remains the same, if the low is going to be higher like this, the Senko Span 2 will move up accordingly. Because it takes the highest level and lowest level, right? And it plots the mid price. So that means the mid price will be gradually moving up too, right? And that's why. So come be, coming back to the uh, main topic here, and that's why. That's why, if you see the Senko Span 2 is horizontal, that means the market is not re really renewing the high nor low, right? It, it, the market is not really renewing the high to be higher or low to be lower, uh, to be higher, sorry, to be higher in this case. So that's why the Senko Span 2 remains horizontal and that's why the Kumo becomes parallel and that's why this, this is in a range. This is defined as a range by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. All right. So, I just told you, told you the you know the calculations and some stories behind why this is in a range. But for now, if you're a newbie, uh, you can just look at the angle of the kumo, and if it looks to be horizontal, that's the range. That's the simple answer. And when it's moving up clearly like this, it's the bull trend, right? And when it's horizontal like this. It's in a range. All right. So let me read some comments here. <clears throat> it's already possible to determine the hypothetical range or of the uh, no. Up wave on daily chart. Yeah, daily chart it's uh, moving up, right? Uh, moving down right now. So, um, yeah, it's a downtrend actually. But yeah, again, on this daily chart, there's a little twist here right now. The Kumo is extremely becoming thin here. So, that means, yeah, the market might be in the range, might be into the range. That's something that we can expect. All right. Two way span B moved up. One price go up. New, yeah, make new high and also price um, side uh, price side wave long time and make new high. Low of fifty two. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. So when the lower part lower price is going to be go up while the top price right the highest price remains the same the Senko span 2 will move up so yeah it's like this if it's going to be higher lows here but the high the highest remains the same in this case the Senko Span 2 will be slightly moving up. Okay, there's a 13 pulse correlation candle on daily. A weakening of euro pound is very likely. On a weekly chart, a flat cloud likes to attract a price. Weekly average suggests buy. Okay. So yeah, right now, uh, according to the Kumo here, if you look at the Kumo only, on weekly chart, it's parallel. It's 
parallel horizontal so basically we don't really look at the kumo here just to make the story simple you mean the price going down again yeah there's a possibility that the price is going to be go down again from here because it's horizontal the kumo is horizontal that means the price can either keep moving up or it's gonna go down either way but if the kumo is moving up the price most likely will go up, right? But if the Kumo is horizontal, that means the price can go up or down, either way. And that's why this is kind of dangerous to touch it. If weekly is down, right? If, if, uh, how if monthly up, weekly down, daily up, what should I do? Okay, okay, so. That's why I'm here, that's why I'm here. So let's go by step here, step by step. All right, so one hour chart, it's horizontal. So no trade. That means we don't really look at this time frame in this case. And then let's move on to the 30 minute time frame here. All right, 30 minute. All right, look at the Kumo right now, and is it moving up or down or range in this 30 minute time frame? What do you think? What do you think right now? I don't even really draw a box here now. I don't give you any clues, so you have to think by yourself. <laughs> if you only look at the Kumo right now, is it moving up or down or horizontal? Which one is it? By the way, I'm so surprised that even it's Saturday, uh, people are still joining. It's so amazing and I appreciate your participation, as always. Actually, Ichimoku brought us everybody here, right? Because I'm only talking about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, and especially Kumo, right? It's so niche. So <laughs> if you are not really interested in Kumo, you wouldn't be watching this video. So anyways. When I think about it, I thought it's kind of funny and so interesting to bring, you know, get together all all here who are really interested in Kumo. So, yeah, again, if you look at the Kumo here, is it moving up or down or range? Are these daily live Ichimoku session available on YouTube? Yes, everything is uploaded on archive. You can always look back because I'm going step by step here. So I, I'm not really revealing all the information mixed all together. I decided to go step by step about Ichimoku Kin Kohyo from this year because previously, like last year, I was, um, you know, showing all the lines with even like Bollinger Bands and also like Stochastics and I was explaining about Divergence and Kumo like lines and everything but um, you know it might confuse the people so that's why I decided to do step by step here this year but yeah you can always check the archives so that you can learn step by step as well <clears throat> so Uh, right now the Kumo, look at the Kumo and it's moving up, right? It's moving up. Yeah, I see up, up. Time is more important than price. Exactly, exactly. That's what Ichimoku Sanjin says. Yeah, up range, up, up. Yeah, uh, some people might think it's a range, but if you only look at the Kumo right now, it's going up, right? Clearly it's going up. It's going up like this. And especially, like I mentioned, if you look at the Senko Span 2, the lower part of the Kumo, it's uh, moving up, right? It's moving up. So this is up Kumo. And the, the market is uptrend in this 30 minute time frame. Okay? So, um, all right. So, but we have a problem here. We have a problem. We said, we, we saw that daily chart. In the daily chart, it's down Kumo, right? As it says here, in daily chart, it's down. 
But now look at the 30 minute time frame. It's up. The Kumo is moving up. Oh my god. What should we do? <laughs> right? What we should what should we do? And this is where really people get trapped. So uh, alright, so in 30 minutes it's moving up. But in this case, uh, we're not gonna take trades because in daily time frame it's a downtrend, right? Look at the daily time frame again. This is down Kumo. Right, this is down Kumo. So in this case, we only look for a place to sell, right? We only look for a place to sell. But so far, uh, four hour time frame looks to be horizontal, it's not down Kumo. And one hour time frame, it's not the down Kumo either, right? It's not going down. And if you look at the 30 minute time frame, it's moving up right now. But what we're looking for is the down Kumo, right? So that it can synchronize with the daily time frame. So in this case, in this uh, 30 minute time frame, the Kumo is moving up. So we don't take trade on this time frame either. Right, we have to wait for we have to wait for the Kumo to be moving down again. But until then, we have to wait for it. Right? We have to wait for it. Just be patient and we have to wait until the Kumo actually goes down. And similarly in one hour chart, the Kumo is horizontal right now. So we have to wait until the Kumo actually moves down. So that it actually matches. It actually matches with the daily down Kumo. Right? So, yeah, daily chart, it shows the sell energy right now, sell momentum. And right now, 30 minutes say, says it's a buy. So it's going against the daily bigger time frame. So in this case, you have to wait until the Kumo to turn to bearish. So in this case, you have to wait for it. Okay, and let's move on to the 15 minute chart here. All right. So 15 minute chart. In this case, again, the Kumo is moving up, right? Clearly, it's moving up. So unfortunately, this is not the chance to take trade. Right, we have to wait for the Kumo to be reversed to going back like this. Like right here, right? The Kumo is moving down. So we need to wait until the Kumo looks like this in this 15 minute chart too. So this is where we have to be very patient. Uh, Kumo is uh, in 15 minute chart, it's up. So it's a buy. Is it clear so far? Right, let me just check some comments here. <clears throat> it is through that Uh, the 30 minute Kumo is going up, but we should use the daily as a reference. Exactly, exactly. We always have to follow the bigger trend, right? Bigger time frame. And with that eyes, right? With that in mind, we have to always look at the lower time frames. Right? So when the bigger time frame, in this case, the daily chart says it's a sell, then you have to look for the sell chance in lower time frames. And that's what we have been looking for. But unfortunately, right now, uh, everything, every other time frame says it's either horizontal or buy, right? So in this case, we have to wait for 
the confirmation to sell in lower time frames. Right? <clears throat> yeah, wait for a down Kumo. Exactly. Exactly. What does the wave say? Yeah, I will talk about the wave in different streaming. In the, uh, today's live streaming is only focused on Kumo here, the direction of the Kumo. What's the best exit strategy in this case? Could we use any indicators? Yes, yes. Uh, exit strategy, entry and exit. Um, you can use uh, like you know uh, the lines and price actions. And when the Kumo is moving up, you can use the Kumo as a in, uh, exit, exit uh, strategy. Like when the Kumo is moving up, if the price is breaking the Senko span two downwards, this is the exit timing right here. When the Kumo is moving down, and when the market's moving down, and after that, if the price keeps moving up, right, this break, right, the break of Senko span two is exactly where you have to exit. If you're placing sell in this case, I think, yeah, and I think you are placing sell because the Kumo is moving down. You never look for buy, right? You you only look for a sell chance in this case. The Ichimoku indicator itself without time and wave coverage also allows you to earn, but there's a lot of stop loss. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, if you really combine the five lines including this Kumo, then your stop loss can be minimum, right? Even if you get the stop loss, it can be minimum. And yeah, there, there's actually a secret about it. The secret about the entry and exit. And just by looking at the Kumo, you never, you can never think about the entry or exit. Just by looking at the Kumo. Uh, because Kumo only shows the direction of the market or if the market is in a trend or range. Basically, that's it. But this is very important to know because, um, you know, some, sometimes people just jump into the market without knowing if the market is in a trend or not, right? They just jump into the market and get lost over time. So to avoid that, you always have to look at the Kumo's angle. And when it's horizontal like this, you never take trade, right? Kumo is actually saying to you, right? Don't take trade, right? Kumo is giving you a message. So you have to listen to what Kumo says about the market. And whenever it's moving down or up like this, this is exactly the market you want to take trades. All right. So, I hope you're with me. So let me go to a five minute chart and one minute chart here. I'm just doing it, everything here. So five minute chart right now. All right, if you see the market right now, is it moving up or down or horizontal? By looking at this Kumo only, what is your call now in this five minute chart? Is it moving up or down or horizontal? So just look at the angle of the Kumo here. Just focus on the angle. And do you think it's going up or down or range? What is your call now? So I'm going step by step here. Because you know there are so many cases in the market, so it's always nice to ask questions. How you think about the market? All right, I see range down, horizontal up, down down. 
Will it start to go down? Yep, yep. Hello, BU. Thanks for joining from Indonesia. All right. Mark horizontal. Raymond down. Alex up. Maru san says range. So we have varieties of answers here, right? Range up down, right? We have lots of answers here. So in this case, in this case, I would think it's a horizontal. I would think it's a horizontal right now, right? Uh, if you only look at the tip of this, uh, if you only look at this tip of the kumo here, it start to moving down. So technically, yeah, we can you can say that it's slightly moving down right now. But at the same time, it's kind of horizontal right now. So one thing that it's clear that is that it's not really moving up anymore, right? It's not really moving up anymore. But however, it's not really clear down yet, right? It's not really clear down yet. Because what we what we mean by down is this. Right, what we mean by down is this. But if you look at the five minute chart, it's not really like that, right? It's just slightly moving down, but it's not quite. If it keeps moving down like this, then this is clearly the downtrend, right? Down Kumo. But right now, it just started to move, be moving down. So I would say this is either horizontal or just the start of moving down right so in this kumo right here it was clear moving up this was horizontal right and it was moving up here and this was horizontal like this and especially if you see a twist right here from up kumo to down kumo then you can say that this is horizontal too right it's not really clearly downtrend right now but because the kumo has been just twisted here and it just started to go down just like the market right here right just like it here we're just looking at this part right we're just looking at this part like this <laughs> right we are only looking at this part right now it's exactly the same right so yeah we never know the market might keep moving up from here as a result it could be, right? It could be like here before. It could be, but just as I see right now, this is this this uh, this kumo tells that the market just started to going down, right? It just stopped moving up, so it's either horizontal or start to go down a little bit. So, but it's still not the clear downtrend yet. So let's just put the horizontal here. Okay. So that means no trade. All right. So finally, let's move on to the one minute chart here. Okay. One minute chart. Okay. So what do we see here now in this one minute chart? How about the angle, the kumo here? Is it moving up or down or horizontal? <clears throat> so we're looking at the one minute chart right now. This is a very micro time frame, but you know the market is fractal, so you can apply this Ichimoku theories to any time frames. So if you look at this one minute chart, is Kumo moving up or down or horizontal? Okay, down, clear down, down, down. Exactly, exactly. So that this is what we want. This is what we want exactly. So everybody says it's down, right? So that means to everyone, this is clear that it's a downtrend and this is what we're looking for. So this is moving down. 
and it correlates with the daily downtrend, right? So let me put, put it here, put the memo here. So one minute it was down and it's a sell chance, okay? So now that we have done all these analysis in different time frames, so uh, the clear market, the clear Kumo direction that we found on this particular pair, Euro Pound was the daily chart, right? Daily moving down, and 30 minute time frame it's buy uptrend, and also 15 minute chart it's going up, and one minute it's moving down, right? And everything else is kind of horizontal, right? Is it clear? <clears throat> so after this, after this, what what I would do usually is that because I am a day to swing trader, I depend on the daily time frame. In this case, I depend on the daily time frame, right? And I only look for the market, the time frame, that shows the Kumo to be going down. So in this case, from 4 hour chart to 1 minute chart, or actually to 5 minute chart, everything here was actually not moving down, right? Not moving down. Only 1 minute is pointing down right now. Only 1 minute is pointing down. But all other time frames is not really pointing down. The Kumo is not really pointing down. And that's why, that's why I won't really look at the chart. I won't really take trade on this particular pair. I would wait until the one hour chart, the Kumo to be moving down. I will just put this one on my watch list and, and you know, uh, wait for the Kumo to be moving down in this one minute time, uh, one hour time frame, and until then, I will be probably like going to gym or reading books or watch movies or taking my dog for a walk, right? I will do other things or I will look at other pairs, but you know, um, in this case, so I will only wait for the one hour chart, the price, uh, actually the Kumo to be going down. I will wait for that. And also because the 30 minute time frame, because the 30 minute and 15 minute, the Kumo is moving up. I will think that it might take a little bit more time for the Kumo on these time frames to go down because right now it's moving up, right? So it might it might take some more minutes or some more hours for the Kumo to be moving down to be correlating to daily chart because 15 minutes is moving up and also 30 minutes is moving up, right? But because daily time frame clearly shows it's a downtrend, it's a down Kumo, that's why I just put this pair on my watch list. But lower time frames doesn't really show the down Kumo, so there's nothing really that I can do. You see, so this is how you can actually, uh, you know, look at different time frames. So first, you have to set your eyes on buy or sell. And whatever time frames you look at, you have to set your eyes to buy or sell. And according to your that eye, right? According to that eyes, you have to go down to the lower time frames to uh, further confirmation, right? So in this case, daily chart it shows the downtrend, right? It's a sell, so I only look for the place to sell. But unfortunately, from four-hour chart to five-minute chart, none of these shows down kumo, and that's why in this case. 
all I can do is just wait. Just wait for any of these time frame Kumo shows pointing down. Well, one minute actually shows down, but because this is the lowest time frame, um, you know, it might turn to be, you know, upside anytime soon. We never know. So, and plus, plus, uh, the bigger time frames like a 15 minute chart and 30 minutes are moving up right now, right? So, one minute chart might be uh, might be moving up uh, sooner or later. So in this case, there's no trade chance in this in this momentum. Okay, and like this, you look at different pairs or whichever uh, you know the pairs you want to trade. You only go for like from a bigger time frame to break it down to the lower time frames and see exactly uh, if you know which which time frames the Kumo is actually synchronizing towards the same direction. And that's a very important thing to do. Because if the Kumo is moving down in this bigger time frame, but in lower time frame, if it's moving up, uh, sooner or later, it might be, um, the market might be going down by following this major uh, bearish momentum, right? So you always have to wait until the lower time frame Kumo direction to be pointing the same direction as this bigger time frame. And that's actually the golden rule, right? So, yep, that's actually the idea. And plus, you know, of course, I will be using like other uh, lines to for the confirmation. And I might be looking at the lower time frames. Like, let's say 30 minutes is moving down, right? Uh, sorry, 30 minutes is moving up right now. The Kumo is moving up on this uh, 30 minute time frame. So, if I want to take trade based on this 30 minute time frame, then I will look down to the lower time frames and see which time frame the Kumo direction is correlating. So in this case, 30 minutes is moving up and 15 minutes is moving up also. Right, so there are two confirmations. 30 minutes is moving up and 15 minutes is moving up. So in this case, if the five minute chart five minute time frame Kumo is also pointing upwards from here, then I will think about buying it. I will think about buying on this market. But in this case, right, in this case, I only look at the 30 minute time frame as the highest, uh, biggest time frame. And so that uh, the take profit line, the take profit is going to be based on this 30 minute time frame. And in this case, I would never look at the bigger time frame than 30 minutes, right? So in this case, the 30 minute time frame, um, <clears throat> for example, there's a recent high here, right? Recent high here. So this is going to be first target, and even like um, this level, this price level here will be the second target, right? Things like this. I will set the target like this, or I will calculate the you know price observation theory to set my target but however I set the target I will set it based on this 30 minute time frame because the Kumo is moving up on 30 minute see so if the 30 minute time frame uh, looks to be horizontal then I wouldn't take that time frame for a bigger time frame to actually take trade. But because the 30 minute time frame currently is the Kumo is moving up, and that's why I will take this time frame as a bigger time frame to set the target. So with that in mind, I look at the five minute chart, right? I look at the five minute chart. So 
and I will place a buy when the Kumo is moving up like this. So either way, I will look at three different time frames to confirm uh, the market trend. And also, I will find the trading edge on the market to buy in this momentum. Okay. At 0 0.85690, there is very strong resistance with the ch uh, Chikou weekly line. <coughs> Chikou weekly line? Okay. What is your opinion of several Ichimoku uh, trainers overlaying the next higher time frame Kumo on top of the lower chart Kumo? Oh, you mean uh, they kind of show um, like two types of Kumo? Like higher time frame Kumo and lower time frame Kumo on the same chart? Is that what you're saying? Actually, I've never seen those th that kind of uh, charts. I'm not really sure how they are trading with that. We have a Kumo twist. Must we not look to buy? Oh, in this. Uh, minute chart there's a twist of Kumo is this what you're saying <clears throat> would you be able to show a situation that you consider a perfect moment to entry yeah um, that's actually that I was what I was looking for and that's exactly where I place a buy or sell but you know the market does not really move all, always right as perfectly as we think sometimes only two time frames will be going to towards the same direction whereas the other one will be going to the different direction that can happen a lot of times that can happen a lot of times so so um, you know you always have to think about the probability of the market and to increase it ideally uh, all the direction of the Kumo should be synchronized. So, if the 30 minute is Kumo, up, uh, Kumo is moving up, and 50 minute time frame Kumo is moving up, and also 5 minute time frame Kumo is moving up, that's when you want to place a buy. And that will be ideal buy. In this case, 5 minute chart, uh, overall you can say that, um, you can also say that it's moving up, like overall, if you if you kind of you know see it as a bigger picture, it's kind of moving up. So maybe you can place a buy on this market. But again, Kumo by itself, you cannot confirm the entry chance. When it comes to entry chance, the trading edge on the market, you have to spot the place where the stop loss is going to be the minimum and the take profit line can be most. So again, the Kumo only shows the direction of the market and also whether to take the trade or not in particular time frame. And that's the main topic today. I will show you the, the entry chance or exit, entry and exit strategies by using other lines and also um, uh, three theories about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo later. All right. Oh, Kumo twist in daily, right? Yeah, this one right here. Twisting right now a little bit. But again, is the Kumo moving up right now? It's not, right? The Kumo is clearly moving down. So just by looking at this twist right here, it doesn't confirm that the market is moving up. It cannot be the confirmation. The Kumo twist only tells you that the market might be in a range. 
or it might consolidate right from here but you know we cannot always expect the market direction 100% so in this case if you see that Kumo twist right here that means again like I said uh, the Chiko, uh, Senko span 2 Senko span B here is the mid price of the highest and lowest for the past 52 candlesticks right so highest and lowest for the past 52 candlesticks and this is exactly where the mid price is right on this Kumo I think um, I think uh, it was here maybe right and like this and the mid price so unless the price breaks either unless uh, the high breaks higher or low uh, keeps higher unless the market moves either one of these the Senko span 2 remains the same level will be remain horizontal and because the market won't move if the market won't move uh, won't renew the highs or won't renew the low but instead if the market remains the same within the range like this that means market is consolidating and actually that's what this single span 2 is telling it because that's the definition of the range in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. This is not the same as moving average or any other uh, you know, trend indicators. What's significant about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is it actually it's actually spotting the mid price level of the market in past 52 candlesticks or past 26 candlesticks or past 9 candlesticks it always tells you the mid price of the market in certain time period okay so anyways anyways uh, to wrap it up here um, you have to be synchronizing the Kumo's direction and at least look at three time frames three different time frames and when you find all the time frames are synchronizing in terms of the Kumo's direction that will be the one that you want to take trade okay and that's actually what Kumo is telling it and when it's moving horizontal never take trade on that pair right on or on that time frame never take on that T trade on that and you rather look for another pair or another time frame to see the market direction by Kumo all right so um, I'll be doing another live tomorrow too I'll be doing uh, this kind of uh, live streaming tomorrow again for two, uh, twice a day uh, it's like my commitment maybe I will be doing it uh, in the morning in Japan sometimes if I wake up early maybe I will just do it but anyways I will Think about doing it twice a day twice a day so you can always welcome to join here and learn fully from my lecture so that you can be a good Ichimoku trader all right and if you have any questions while you're watching the movies or when you are watching my other like uh, videos about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo whenever you have any questions I have a question form on the description below and if you click on the description below um, there's a form like this there's a form like this uh, question form for Ichimoku Kinko Hyo in 2020 and in this form you can just put your name and address if possible and trade experience and so on and choose the strategy right uh, category here right strategy mindset or money management and you you can put the your question here whatever questions you have but I want you to be specific on your questions. Like, uh, don't put like you know, is the kumo if the kumo is moving up, is it a buy, right? <laughs> don't put that kind of simple questions. But if you have any particular questions, be specific, please, so that I can fully, uh, you know, understand what you're asking. And if you can, just put your questions here. And if you just 
press the send, send button here, it will send directly send it to my inbox, so that I will be looking at your uh, you know questions, and I will be explaining about that on my live streamings like this. So you can take advantage of this question form. Whenever you have any questions, when you are like re replaying my videos or when you are looking at the live streamings, but you cannot you couldn't ask me the specific questions, please use this form to actually send me any questions you have about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. Alright? So I will see you on the next live tomorrow. So until then you have a great great holiday and stay gold. Cheers. Matane. Good night from Japan. <laughs>